Edmonton Transit's big. We have a fleet approaching a thousand vehicles. Every day during peak hours, we monitor approximately 750 buses. Off peak, approximately 500. It gets pretty busy uh, down here. Well, Edmonton Transit has had a big increase in ridership over the last uh, few years. From 2000 to 2011, there's been 86% increase in ridership. And so with all that new folks hopping on our system, um, there comes challenges. So the best way to address these challenges was introducing some new technology, the smart bus technology. The smart bus solution can really be thought of as four components, really. The solution on the bus, there's a back office solution, control has a, a CAD tool solution, and then the customer facing tools that the customer will use to access that information. Smart bus refers to equipping transit vehicles with GPS technology, so we know the location of the vehicles. And it allows um, transit to communicate more effectively with the vehicles. Our control center, which is our incident management center, uh, currently uses two-way radios. Control to any operator at Century Park, uh, please pick up your handset. Please pick up your handset and state your bus number. With smart bus technology, uh, our control center will be able to text messages and vice versa. The operators on the vehicles will be able to communicate with the control center more effectively. The back office solution really ends up combining the schedule information with the information received from the bus and combining that to deliver valuable information to both in the transit and the customer itself. We need the technology to provide us with more information about where our buses are, how they're operating, and really what's the most important aspect of this is the customer facing uh, improvements. The information that our customers will have available to them to know where their buses are, to be able to adjust their travel times in, in the situation where a bus may be late or, or early or, or just basically give them more confidence in where the, the service is and when they'll be able to get their bus. The control room is the main hub or nerve center of Edmonton Transit. Any issues that the operators have will come in through the transit control center and then we will disseminate any um, information to other agencies that may be required to assist. Other than that, we dispatch our wind inspectors to investigate incidents that may occur on our property and uh, anywhere along the streets within the city of Edmonton. Moving forward, the CAD tool yeah, for the inspectors and controllers allows them to see where the buses are uh, and also allows them to communicate with the operators and has a standard approach for recording incidents and following up on, on events that occur on the road. It makes our job a lot better knowing that we can assist our operators and customers a lot sooner and the added security that we can actually see what's actually happening on that bus. This is all the new equipment that we have installed. The bottom box is the IVLU, which is essentially the computer for the smart bus system, which handles all the announcements and all the schedule information. The top box here is the uh, mobile gateway, which handles all the communication for not just the IVLU, the passenger counter, and the camera system. The equipment is tied into both covert and overt alarm systems. Now, if there's an incident occurring on the bus that the operator feels that they need assistance for, uh, they can immediately contact control center. Our camera system on the buses is tied into the smart bus solution. So in our control center, they will now know exactly where that bus is, where previously we had no way of knowing the exact location of the bus. So we'll be able to get the right resources to the right location. The mobile data terminal located at the front of the bus is the main communication tool that the operator will use to communicate to control and receive messages back from control. Um, at the same time, it receives real-time schedule information from the system on the actual MDT the current running information for their schedule is available along with how they fall into place in schedule in real time. 111, downtown. 
There are three elements to the next stop announcements. There's the LED signs inside the bus that uh, scroll a message when stops requested and the street and avenue. And then there's the internal speakers that voice the same. Stop requested. University. And then on the external speakers, when you're pulling up to a stop, the doors will open and the passenger standing at the stop will hear the route number and the destination. 128, Castle Down. Any system you have, you'll have its location, date, time, and a live communication link to that bus. So any future equipment we add to it, it'll integrate to this system. It makes things a lot more efficient. People love uh, the convenience of auto travel because they're in control of the experience. Transit has many, many advantages, uh, but without smart bus technology, there is um, a bit of not knowing when the bus is coming and if it's coming. So this technology will allow the customer to have more control over their experience. Customers are really demanding this. With the smart bus implementation, Customers will now have access to real-time information as to where the buses are, uh, real-time estimates as to when uh, the bus is expected at each stop along the route. During the winter months, when we have extremely cold weather or poor road conditions, that's going to be very important to them. It's just going to improve their convenience and uh, their experience on Edmonton Transit.